we wanted to have short films. They didn't do short films on SNL at that time. And then cartoons and didn't have any ideas for cartoons. But then one day Dino came in and said, how about a Wallace and Gromit parody where it's clear that um, the dog is giving him oral sex? And I was like, no, but <laughs> I don't know why that connected to my idea, but it just did. It was that quick a conversation where I was like, what about superheroes? The Batman movies were getting more and more overtly um, homoerotic. Joel Schumacher had taken over the helm and they uh, were sprouting nipples in there and bigger the bulges armor. than yes. ever, yes. And, um, and there had always been an old suspicion planted in the 50s basically saying that Batman and Robin were gay and um, as if that was, that's what was considered evil. So for a certain generation, it always existed and then it sort of came back in the 90s. And anyway, the whole thing seemed ridiculous to me. Uh, and really, uh, Ambiguously Gay Duo was founded on that notion that like, oh my God, we're just so obsessed with how people fuck. <laughs> like, what difference does it make? The whole thing came out of one shot in my mind when I thought of it, which was like after Ace and Gary are caught like grabbing each other in some sort of a, you know, compromising position that might be interpreted as, as gay. And then that moment where these super, these super villains who are, you know, really invested in defeating these guys, but they're badly animated and they're standing next to each other and they just do one of these. And, and then Ace and Gary catch them doing it. Because obviously they suspect that they get, they get strange looks and they have no idea why. What's everybody looking at? Nothing! Let's continue with our battle here, you know. And that at the time was very, uh, felt very original because like that kind of injecting awkward behavior into superhero stuff. Now it's just commonplace, all that kind of like, you know, Ricky Gervais office kind of stuff is pervasive through all kinds of everything. <laughs> but, um, but it felt fresh and that was really the whole this whole sketch in my mind was, was about that moment. And then everything else was just gravy. All the, yes, there's a whole other joke going on about just the fine line between masculinity as a celebrated, you know, requirement of, <laughs> of the male experience and homoeroticism. You know, all that stuff that was all over like the... Uh, you know, the Stallone movie and Schwarzenegger movies in the 80s, you know, where their deaths are glistening. And, you know, Steve, Carell, Steve Colbert and I were going to write, we wrote a movie uh, for Ace and Gary that, uh, I've written movies for all these characters, but we wrote an Ace and Gary movie and Carell, Colbert had this great idea for the opening credits where it's just a chest, it's just super muscular chests in a shower. And as the soap kind of drips down the chest, it forms like the, the opening credits, you know. <laughs> A Paramount production. Just, just in, in it's running. It's soap. 